And we're live. Can you see me? Yes, you can see. All right. Where's my clothes? Morning, everybody. Try, I'm still trying to get set up. We're uh, lagging behind here. All right. What? We're going All right. So, how's everybody doing this morning? Pete. Good morning, and uh, welcome to the Bear Cave. Uh, this morning, we've got a little bit going on. Got some. Got the grill heated up to. Uh, got the grill heated up to about 425 degrees. Um, roughly. Roughly. My wife saw this thing on TikTok and said, "You know, I want to try this." So, uh, you know, we're just we got a couple other things going on, so. Let's start the morning off with a cheers. I gotta have the coffee and get hydrated this morning. Ooh. Okay, so what I got going on here in the 12 inch skillet is just some bacon rendering. Uh, it's gonna take a minute to cook. So now what I got over here is I've got a head of cauliflower that I've cut up into florets. Now the way that I did this was I flipped the head over and used my knife and just cut the stems to the uh, leaves, pulled them off, and then cut around the core. And when I had these big pieces, I took a knife and... That is not a knife. That is a chopper. I just kind of went in just a little bit and wiggled. Because it's easy to go all the way through and cut your hand. And we don't want that. No, we do not. Got to promote safety. Yeah, Bear Cub already did that. So here, let's, let's do another one. See right there in the eye, the stem. We're going to put our knife in the middle. Go in just a little bit and wiggle. And you'll feel it break. When it breaks, then you're good. So the uh, the recipe called for a uh, head of cauliflower. Like Broke up into florets. And then the lady, um, my eye did just. Onion. I didn't even get into the onion yet. Well, anyway. don't touch your eye. Uh, then what the lady did is she covered it in oil and then tossed it in a taco seasoning. So, I'm going to get a glove on, just because it's easy to clean up, that's all. Got a little bit of olive oil, it's going to spray. This is a 12-inch uh, dual-handle lodge, just for any of the cast iron junkies. Now I'm going to use this uh, Ridley's taco seasoning. Um, my buddy Mike over at the Dude's Kitchen and Grill sent this to me. Um, we have an unboxing video coming up on that. But I'm uh, just going to sprinkle it on top. I know we're doing things a little bit out of order today, but we just want to get this on and then we'll do the chit chat. And we toss it. I was about to say, do not tell me you putting your hand in that, but that one's not lit. Yeah, this one's not on. Oh, Uncle Andy. So what we what we making this morning? Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Come on, brother. Literally, your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the wife saw this thing on TikTok, and it was cauliflower nachos. And we weren't sure that if the kids were going to be around this morning because they had a birthday party last night, so... We left at 7, uh, we got up at 7.02. Good morning, Uncle Andy. I'd like to think that it was because they wanted to spend time with me this morning. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> yeah. I'm still, I'm super tired. I went to bed at like 4.30 and then I don't even, I don't even know how I fell asleep, but somehow I fell asleep. My phone was on the table. I was knocked out on the floor. And I don't even know how because she was. She was sitting in a chair and well, then she was I'm like, down. Oh. 
but I use my bag as like a pillow because I lost where mine went. Uncle Andy, how you like that horse? Oh, don't bring up the horse. <laughs> you mean the one, the picture that we sent me? Sure. Yeah, that's the sore subject. All right, so we got these well coated. Pretty well coated. Some a little more than others. I'm just going to hit it again to put a little more fat in the bottom of the pan. Dad, the way you were spraying that is coming straight to our faces. Sorry. All right, so let's get this on the uh, grill and get it roasting. It shows the grill. All right. I know. Did you say you must have been asleep? Hey, you were putting everybody out here for like a carnival ride, right? <clears throat> Okay, so my grill's reading 450 degrees at the dome, or on the grate. So I'm just going to set this on here. That you go over. Offset. Offset the coals. My coals are here. We're going to set this over here. We'll give it about 10 minutes, <laughs> and then I'll rotate. All right. We have to promote that even cooking. All right, so I got this bacon rolling. That's awesome. Now we're going to turn this over to uh, the cub, bear cub, and uh, she's got a little something, something that she wanted to make um, this morning and show everybody. So let me get out of the way. Good. I need my ice. Let me grab my coffee. Okay, I saw this on well, the you, store. You've known about it for a while. Yeah, but I haven't made them before. So we're making Shelly Temple. Am I glad? Uncle Andy said, watching Abby with the horse is adorable. It's a nice horse, though. It's just not something I wanted. <laughs> yeah. So if you put a, a bunch of ice in a bowl, put it in the freezer, the bowl gets cold and like frosting. That's all the ice I'm getting out of there. Putting my Sprite. Should I do that first? Yeah, because the are you using grenadine or maraschino cherry juice? Well, we got grenadine. What did you tell them what you're making? I just said I'm making shiny tap. Oh. So, are you using the... The Geraldine, or the well, the 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 image that I saw was that you use this, that, and that, both of them. Yeah, because the Geraldine will sink to the bottom if you do it right. This? Yeah. So just pour that on top, like now. Yeah, but do it like maybe like a half second pour, like that, and then as you change. That's pretty cool. Look at it, man. Yeah. That's what uh, bartenders use when they're making like bartenders. the shark drinks and stuff. That's more. A little bit more. There. Try that. One grand cherry. So, uh, Andy, I'm going to have to give you a call later on to so be by your phone. I got something like. Uh, Rather important to talk about to you. Uh, probably isn't the right thing to do, but on on camera. But okay. yeah, so just, no, I'm gonna call you later on. We'll talk. But Is it uh, a good thing? well, it's gonna be a good thing. Okay. I talked to the, talked to Dad last night about it. So <laughs> huh? We're going to Ohio? No. Oh. Uh, How's a good thing? No. But anyway, uh. Mm -hmm. What else we got going on? Well, been a crazy week. Swim conditioning ended this week. Swim, yeah. No one's birthday. Yep, Bear Cub turned 16. Uh, I'm going to make you feel real old, Dad. Ready? No. 23, 17, 16. Yeah, I know, right? Wow. 
23 year old that has her own apartment and graduated college. I'm going to college and she'll up soon after me. Is it good? I don't know yet. I ate a cherry. It looks good. A little more grenadine. A little song song. Um, let's see. I did see the uh, new uh, Mandalorian 3 uh, Star Wars poster uh, with Luke and Grogu, which was pretty awesome. I saw that last night. Um, let's see. Work was crazy. Uh, just a lot of issues at, uh, on one of the machines. Yeah. Um, That's pretty good work. Okay. Let's, let's give this a whirl here. She would. Buster. Yeah, it's a Charlotte Temple. Yeah, that's not bad. Huh. Okay. You can get that at like any restaurant down here, really. Yep. All right, Cubs, let's get you cleaned up off here and uh, let's get Pay set up. Pay's got a little something, something. We all got a little something, something. Yep. Yeah, this is this is the cub sharing edition. I mean, just take this whole thing. I'm not that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. There you go. Wait, wait! Do not yeah. let go. Oh, okay. Hey, what happened to my door? The okay, door. so our bacon's rolling good. The door. Uh. How long's it been on our? The red Patrick. Hey. Uh. <laughs> Wife uh, took me out last night for a nice little date night. Uh, nothing, nothing special. We just went and got pizza and uh, went to the grocery, you know. But it was just her and I, so that was cool. Um, let's see. Got a new transformer. What you don't know is, you know how like when you're a kid and they tell you to make sure to bring your house key. I get a call from mom, yeah. and it goes. Hey, can you come rescue us? We're outside. We locked ourselves out the house. Yeah, so it happened. I walked out the front door without my keys. And it I happens. Just, I just thought it was funny. It happens, and now pays like rubbing it in all over. So, okay, I'm back. Um, Uncle Pickles said, up, Morning, Dares. Hey, Uncle Pickles, we got a question for you. Oh, my goodness. No one has been on this question for probably since last has week. It, has it been 10 minutes? We need to rotate. It's 12. Has it been 12? Since we put the things on. I'm about to say, Look give it a couple more minutes. Okay. Nine and four, so give it a couple minutes. So I have a question for you, Uncle Pickles. Um, My question, since you know pretty much everything. Well, Peyton, you want to go ahead and say the question? Since you're on camera. Can you breastfeed your child with a breast implant? So we're sitting there one night, and this it's is like after midnight, because I don't get home till about midnight. And Bear Cup's sitting there, and she says, Dad. And she asked me that question, I was like, I have no idea. I would think so, but. Dad said to ask you. I don't know, and then I kind of laughed, and she goes, Uncle Pickles. Wait till this weekend. So it's all you, Bubba. Take it. Cause I wanna know. Um, he just sent he just sent the laughing crying emojis. Maybe he doesn't know. Don't like this. Well, somebody will know. Maybe they'll put it in the chat. I hope. I'll be right back. Or in back. the comments. Cause I I brought it out. Okay. Because I really want to know. Yeah. Yeah, that's Highly caffeinated. Because, <laughs> like, that shit is strong. Yeah. You want to, you're going to need, uh, you're going to need another drop cord. Go get the white one from inside. You're going to need another drop cord so you can get over there. Oh, Pickles, you never answered that question, though. Um, let's see. Laughing well, emoji is not an answer. So, yeah, I got a new, new Transformer. Uh, Rhinox, if you guys are in the Transformers with the Beast Wars. Um, my spatula. Show them yeah. my spatula. Oh, get your so bear cub turned sixteen. Uncle Andy, look at my got spatula. A, she got a couple you wanna show them the uh 
Okay. Oh, let me. You get your thing. So here's her spatula. You guys probably saw it last week. Little tracker handle. Yep. It's got the uh, cow, chicken, pig, lamb. And then I got this. Nolan, you have responses. Oh, I'm coming. Watch out. Um, oh. Uncle Pickle said, I believe you could. I just don't think the surgery involved the cutting thing. the milk duct. You want to? Here. Yeah. And Throw. he said that I may be wrong. And Uncle Andy flat out said the answer is yes. Uncle Andy, should I be concerned about why you know that answer so much? No. His wife is a nurse. Yeah, she's a nurse. Oh, uh, yeah. Never mind. So, Bear Cup also got this. It's a lock, <laughs> lock preset. Hey, move your face out of the camera. Ooh. It's a lock preset, one quart Dutch oven. Okay, so Uncle Andy said they get so breastfeed, it's only an argu argumentation. doesn't affect the workings of the producing milk. That's what I thought, but I didn't say it in that way. Well, thanks, Uncle Andy. So it's a one quart little Dutch oven. No, no, I'll take this. So, she has her little pot. Don't know what she's going to cook any yet, but she's looking to... Cook I'm going to make a cookie. So, little lock her set. Ought to last a lifetime. So... Bring this to me! That was, that was her big birthday present. Because, you know, big old 16. Yeah, you know, most people would buy their kid a car, but this is going to last so much better. What? Some people do buy the kids' cars for the 16. Not us. But this was way cheaper and will last a whole lot longer. Uncle Pickle said, cool little pot. Thanks. It's my pot. Ah, yeah. All right. So, Pace coming in. Dwayne said, hello, everyone. Morning, D. What's up? So, Pace coming in with uh, this little card of do, goodies. Do, do, do. My pride and joy. Hold on. I yeah, gotta get to it. You're gonna have to do this so they can see what you're doing. Okay. I'm gonna go check the the cauliflower real quick. You do that. Dwayne said it's a, it is a pretty awesome looking pot. Well, thank you. It's yeah, my pot. We have um, a six quart lodge that they, they the wife and the kids like to use because it's easy cleanup. It's easier than a black iron because you just wash it out and go. And I get it. I get it. So, you know, when this one came up, I was like, it's small. It's just for her. It's something that I think she would really enjoy and use a lot. And uh, do yeah. not spill that. Anyway. And she has a two quart black iron um, little Dutch oven. You guys got a couple couple years ago. Yep. Thank you, Veronica. Yep. They got matching ones one day. Which we need to break that out and do the core pot challenge again. Dwayne said Lodge makes great products. You know they do. And they're... It's one of those... It, I listen to a lot of people talk and a, a lot of cast iron stuff. And Shut the thing because I can't see. They, um, they're always going on about the Chinese stuff. and it, it, I don't have an opinion on that. I mean, I do, but I don't. <laughs> If you're going to if you're going to get a new piece of iron, and you're new to cast iron cooking, a 12 inch lodge, hands down, the best 20 25 dollars you're gonna spend. Um, because it'll take a beating and it'll last a long time. Dead, your child. And for a small family, I mean, any nine by thirteen casserole will fit in this. Um, you can fit four burgers easily. So if you're doing like burger steaks, you know. Gravies, whatever. It's it's all it's perfect. Hey, fix your face. That's just my opinion, but um, all right. So I'm gonna let not this Peggy. She was doing a step. Okay. <laughs> hey, go ahead and take it. I'm gonna check this. So if you were here, like, hold on, wait for the lighting because now you pitch black. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Pickle said agreed. I got two large trails. Oh, had them for many years. Yes, we love lodge. Anyway, so. I was going to go to the lodge store yesterday, but. Uh, we can do that today if you really want to. I don't know. I am making espresso today with Deathless Coffee. 
be explain to them what that is. So if you weren't here last time, I made the coffee as you were supposed to, and it's a very, very highly caffeinated coffee. Um it tastes like road tar. Like I've had truck stop coffee. I've had three day old truck stop coffee. I've had I used to really like really, really strong coffee, but that shit's nasty. Flat language. That, Sorry. These, these like grain ones are like paying to mungo. Okay. So I'm doing four shots of espresso. Which is my normal. <laughs> So what's everybody in the chat doing today, or this week, or whatever? So just got feel it to the four line. You gotta do it to the camera so they can see you. It's your pain. Ugh. Yeah, so I'm just filling it up to the four line, which um. is in here. So while this is going on, I want to give a quick shout out or two. Um, my buddy Jared, Frag Daddy Barbecue. Um, they just had uh, his uncle just passed. Probably I don't know if I should be saying that online, but anyway. Um, my heart's out to you, brother. Um, a friend of mine that I, I haven't talked to him other than Facebook in quite a while. I used to work with him years ago. And uh, he's one of the few guys I still keep in touch with, uh, Mr. Tony Fortune. Uh, he, the guy I used to work with uh, back, in, you know, about what twelve years ago or better. And uh, he hits me up on Facebook when he's grilling and stuff, and sends me pictures and uh, you know comments. And the other day, he uh, a couple weeks ago, he he posted a link to our to our live and. Express his, his how much he really likes us hanging okay, out and doing stuff, and you know um, it gives him a little release from his day to day to see us with our shenanigans and whatnot. So Uncle Andy said it's fair week family camping there all week, so I'm flying solo. So basically, you are getting in um, you're in a uh, certain things of what you can and can't do, so you don't get in trouble. So, all I'm doing now is I learned add a little bit of milk. This is strong coffee, so I'm adding a little bit more milk than I regularly like to the bottom of your craft. 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 That's what I said. Carafe. And then that way it doesn't get super bitter. And then I just put it to the espresso. And now we're going to let that go. Oh, I didn't say what I'm doing. Did I? You so said you're making coffee. I'm making chocolate caramel truffle coffee with maraschino cherry juice and white chocolate yes. drizzle. Um, Uncle Pickle said living this single life must be nice. Okay. Yeah. The laughing face. It is, it is amazing. Oh, it is. It's great. So much coffee. And nobody says anything. I take a nap whenever I want. The wife. Mm -hmm. Living la vida loca. Living la vida loca. Wait, hold on. We gotta get this. In. See, this is why we need a camera person. Well, your camera person's dancing. Sitting down. I'm trying to get Mama Bear out here, but she she was gonna help me if the girls weren't able to help. But Mom's like, I know y'all talking about me. I had to yeah. come out. Mama, good morning. Good morning. morning Uncle Andy's in. Uncle Pickles is in. My man Dwayne's in. Yeah. Mama said hello. Um, Uncle A Uncle Andy asked answered my question about if you can sew breastfeed with a breast implant. I know I'm you. Well, it's not really important. It's just those things that make you go hmm. Because I saw it on Botched and I needed to know. And we are also going to do some um, foam um, at the top with my frother steamer milk. 
maybe? Frother nope. steamer, no? Nope. Nope. Frother steamer thingy. Yep. I want to get the little handheld one. Oh. I need to figure out where I can meet it. Because it's like seven bucks. Well, Two nights. There it goes, y'all! It's going! Are you happy? I'm very happy. That your coffee is going? Yes. Coco and Steven and Jacqueline said, Papa Big Cubs, good morning, and good morning all. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning Steven, my brother. How are you? You know, Steven's down in Trinidad. Yes, yeah, I bet it's hot up down there today. It's probably hot. You know what? I I'm think I'm going to put Why, are you sweating? Well, I think I'm done, done with the uh, burner. Um, hey, let's see. What else is going on? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my cousin Mandy. She's killing it, doing her uh, nursing stuff and uh, going back to school. Today's pajama pants are. Oh, check these out, Funk. Hold on. I got some new ones. <laughs> Look at Dad's face. Yeah. Get back to my coffee. Um, Stephen and Jacqueline oh said God, it's 88 here. Oh man, that sounds good. So then here's Pay's cup. So I'm going to take off my straw. And we're going to use car or some pain. Why are you chocolate? literally in the view? I am? Yes. We're going to do the white chocolate drizzle with some. This is what she spent 56 bucks on. Right? <laughs> and then we turn it top. Oh. Uncle Pickle said, sweet, and baby Yoda? Question mark. Yeah. Yoda. And it says, naps and snacks. Did, oh my goodness. Yep, and it shows him eating a frog. Logan said, good morning. Logan? Yeah. <laughs> morning, Logan. How are you? How was the uh, date night? <laughs> I forget, you're not supposed to do that. So I, you guys didn't know that, did you? Logan had a date. Oh. And according to Grandpa, he had to go on TikTok to figure out how to sneak his arm around. <laughs> and she had to so sit. She when had, was this date? Because oh, she had to sit on a specific side because he only practiced on the one side. <laughs> he practiced <laughs> on his right side. Thank you. Thanks. I think she had to sit on the left. So when was this date? The other night. Well, Grandpa knew about it. He told me. Because I was Snapchatting <laughs> looking last night. He um, was like, oh. Tennessee Buckeye Door said, good morning, Lee and Cubs. Good Shy morning. have been in here in a while. Morning, Jeff. How are you, buddy? But I'm going to add. You're a uh, Dutch oven. Oh, sorry. Tomorrow. What kind of syrup? Nope. It is chocolate caramel truffle. And it's from skinny <laughs> syrup, so there's no sugar. Oh, good, good. Uh, Jeff, you, uh, your your Dutch oven videos are awesome, man. I really enjoy watching those. You got to turn a little bit so you can see. Um, Uncle Lane said no. He had poison ivy all. Oh, he said no. Um, he had poison ivy all down one side. Oh, so, so that was on the other side. That was the reason. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my espresso machine. That way, to the top here. yep, because that's where you boil it. So I have to add some more. I'm not gonna add too much. I would, I usually do go to the little like line here, but that just gives me way too much steam. Ooh. Um, Tennessee Buck Outdoor said, Thanks, Lee. You'll be surprised coming up Wednesday. Uh oh, that's kind of scary. He did an awesome like ham and pineapple and taters uh, in his right Big back. 12 deep. Dutch one. oven. I was like, man, he's got me excited. So I don't, now that Logan knows that you um literally, literally just tell everybody on YouTube that he has he had a date. Yeah, he's but, like, damn. <laughs> but, but you're all right, Logan, because 
you know, yeah, there's like 756 subscribers as of the count this morning, but <laughs> only like 30 or 40 watch it. So you're good. So he said that he didn't watch TikTok to figure out how to do that. Fortunately, I don't know the young lady's name. So, you know, I can't like put her on blast, as the girls would say. Boom, boom. Bam. But I'm going to add a little bit of milk. So you did not have to learn how to do that on TikTok, huh? No. Well, that's good. Because, you know, it's something every young man needs to learn how to do. You just got to... You know, of course, the girls, ah, the girls know they have to. They, Peyton, they know it. that was her name. Who was it? That was her name. <laughs> What's it, Kristen? <laughs> Morning, Kristen. <laughs> I know you're not watching this. I want to kick her if she wants. <laughs> I know. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. But. <laughs> All right. While you're frothing, I'm gonna go check our call phone. Like you the hiked up a leg. So, Dad, the reason how he got poison ivy is something you would do, or you and your brother and Skeet would do, and Kenny, probably Kenny, rolling in a ditch for hide and seek. Well, yeah. So, um, I don't know if anybody watched the um, Cubs Corner Friday. We put up the uh, video of our cousin uh, Kenny's wife's. I know this sounds like really long, like stuff to really get to. Anyway, our cousin Katie. Mr. Castor said, "Good morning from Arkansas. No, Arkansas. No, Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. Uh, morning, Mike. Uh, so our cousin Katie, uh, she put up had a candle company that she's got going. Uh, still in the stages. She's got some uh, places that she's selling online. And uh, anyway." Uh, I lit that candle last night, and I mean, I had it in the other. I lit it, and I walked out of the room and was sitting there and watched TV. And it was like within a couple minutes, you could smell it in that room. And I was like, "Wow, that's pretty cool." But uh, so I gave her, you know, we, we did a little video, right? And I sent the link to them, and both of them texted me back and said how much they appreciated it, and they really enjoyed the video. And and I was like, "You guys, this this isn't rehearsed." Those Cubs corners are not rehearsed. They're just. Oh no! If they were, they'd be a lot. So Mr. Cashstein responded to how I said Arkansas, Arkansas, whatever. It's Arkansas. Yeah. Arkansas. So it's, <laughs> it's not Arkansas. Whatever Arkansas. I said. Arkansas. So I frothed my milk. Don't oh, spill yeah. your frothed milk. Ew. Now is this like where the the the, the high end places make the little sort of yeah pictures in the top, but you don't do that. I don't do that. And now... Yeah, you figured out how? The cherry. Yeah, do not use all my cherry juice. Cherry juice. Sir? I don't know about this one, folks. I don't think any of us know about this one, but... I'm a, I'm a straight up black folders guy myself. Sui... Sui... Su okay, so Uncle Pickles... Yeah. Put this S O O O O O I I E E E E E E E exclamation point. Yeah. Okay. Mama T uh Mr. Carstein said Mama T's phone died but says hi. Hi. It's chocolate truffle. It's got some sort of aftertaste. Like a nutri sweet. It's like a nutri sweet aftertaste. Is this stuff? No, this is it's got neutral sweeter or something in it. Something. So I'm I'm picky because I can taste those artificial sweeteners. I, I do not like that. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, nope, or no GMOs, no artificial flavors or preservatives. He's not in. He's not enjoying our segment. Oh, sorry, Logan, that we're boring you because we're because we're picking on him. I guess, huh? Well, I mean, you did say the girl he went on a date with. Yes, I'm sorry, Logan. Hello. Well, I was going to cut up an onion for our nachos, but I kind of let me go ahead and do that because our nachos aren't quite ready yet. So, uh, Mike over at Mr. Cast Iron did it. <laughs> I don't feel like holding it. <laughs> He did a, a he does his chats every Sunday night and uh, um definitely you know, a good <laughs> and due to due to some other previous engagements I uh, I don't always catch his lives so I, I catch the replays and he did our our friend Eric over at uh, Cast Iron Chaos that was a good good chat um. He just did one uh, last week, which I really enjoy. I enjoy those little conversations. Just want to throw that out there. You have to go like this. Like they do with the well, coronas. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, um, Dad, Tony's in. Our friend Tony? Yeah, the one you were just talking about. Yep. Tony, you missed it, man. I, I threw you out there, buddy. Um, he's... Ow, hold on. He said, good morning, everyone. I always enjoy watching y'all cook and have many laughs and a good family time together. Aww. Thanks, Tony. Uh, so for the chat, Tony's a guy I used to work with way back. Back in the olden days. It's been a long time. In the glory uh, days. He's one of the guys, I, one of the few guys from back in the day that I still keep in touch with. Aww. Yeah. So I was I, I threw you out there, Tony. I, I, I gave you a shout out a little bit ago. Uh, I, I really, really enjoyed your comments and uh, the videos and pictures you send. And he's on his way with the. He's got a a cheap Weber. It's uh, what do they call that the Chever. Um, uh, Uncle Pickle said jazzercise with pay. So in a minute, Peyton, I want you to reenact that the Grinch thing. So anyway, sorry, Dad. What, what was I saying? I don't know. Way back when, the Chever, Chever. Oh, so he's got this little little Chever that he's uh, grilling on, and he sends me pictures of stuff he's cooking. Uh, tags me on Facebook and whatnot. Um, He's doing really good, doing some good stuff over there. Looks looks pretty good eating. Um, the ribs he just did ribs the other day. Mm. Um, I didn't um, see the Mr. finish. Mr. Cash Iron said thanks, Lee. We miss you, and you're not there. I know, buddy. I he's he's lame. Yeah. Yeah. And All now right. that my machine is fully done, we just but, turn it off. Wow. Okay. So you gotta be careful because the steam will like get everywhere. So you gotta be careful. And that's it for today's Peyton Coffee. Coffee with Pete. Coffee with Pete. Oh. That could be a new segment. Coffee with Pete. Y'all feeling it? If y'all feeling it. You feeling that one? Coffee with Pete. I can do it some more. Just give me some thumbs up for a coffee with Pete. Or a thumb down. I'm just kidding. No. Well, you can do thumbs down. I don't if care. you want to do thumbs down, I'm still. Hey, are you going to um reenact that scene for Uncle Pickles? Oh, how does it go? The so, uh, you know the the one trend that went around a long time ago where the, the kids was dancing. And they oh, do this. oh, 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 so first you go in, anyway out, anyway i ended up twisting and i can't do it i was trying to do it the other night at work and uncle I, pick goes thumbed up but what hey. i can what i can do and uncle andy will remember this one 
Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Oh, 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 oh. 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 No, Pee Wee Herman. Um, Tony said coffee with tea might be thumb up. All right. Coffee? She don't like tea though. Oh well, but if she does like the matcha cheese or teas or whatever, cheese. She doesn't <laughs> like tea. Well, I if, if it's doctored up like that, she'll eat it. She'll eat it. You can't. Drink it. Drink it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that get together. I got like a lot going on in my head. When don't you? Um. Oh, I got a new book. Yeah, tell them about the book. I took the call for. Okay. Um, Tennessee Book Outdoors. Peyton, stop doing TikToks. Said, "Are you sure? Are you sure you are not drinking Tennessee Mud Coffee?" Yeah. Okay. That that crap that she's got. It tastes like mud. No, it doesn't. And then Mr. Cast Iron said, oh, Dad, he kind of called you out a little bit. He said, yeah. Lee, don't do that. You might break something. Oh, well. <laughs> he called you out. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Big er, um, Mr. Cast Iron. Cast Iron. I called him old earlier. I did. I just found that old right. every chance I get. But he says he's 25. That makes him real old. He has a 16 year old. Let's see. Oh, so this week I'm gonna go to Zumba. Oh no. I'm gonna try my best to go to Zumba. It don't work. So we're getting there. We're not, we still got a little bike. I so want to get just a little bit more done. Wait, I'm gonna talk about my book now. So I might do a Zumba with me. Hey, hush it. Uh, me and Dad, we went to the bookstore. I'm gonna put. I chopped up some onion. I'm just gonna throw on top of my cauliflower. Uncle Andy said, "Goes wait until he breaks out the okra." Yeah, marble. He said, "Wait." He said, "Goes wait until he busts out the okra." You mean the hokey The the ste the Stevie okra, whatever the heck his name is. Oh, Steve Urkel. Where he has his pants oh, to his Urkel. armpits. Yeah. Urkel. Okay, okay, whatever. No, the one I, I can do the Pee Wee Herman, and Uncle Andy will know this one. Wait, Dad, wait for the light. Don't. No. Hold on, slide back a little bit. Back. Yeah, go oh, ahead. Wait, we don't have a football, do we? Oh. No, we have a ball over here. You want this ball no, over here? No, there, there should be, there's a football right over there. Oh, yeah, here. But anyway, before they start dancing, me and Dad got went to the bookstore, and I got a book. It's um this Lindbergh's case that happened back in All right. 1932. I mean 1936. Woo! Y'all know that one? Woo! Yeah. Eric said good morning. Morning, Larry. Dad, in or out? Sorry, I had to get the football. In or out? Yeah, that was a little icky shuffle right there. Yeah. You gotta do that one? You ready? You need to take looks the like you got out. It, it looks like you got a whole poopy. Look, I got the Ohio State football. Mm -hmm. You go out twice, switch hands, this way twice, this way twice, and then slam oh. between your legs and you woo! Learned that when I was five. Listen. Yes. Put the ball away. Yes, Mom. Dad. <laughs> Mom always said don't play bone in the house. Yeah, because you're going to break something. Can't yeah. break, but doesn't need fixed. Dad needs fixed. Yeah, I do. God help me. I know. So let's see. Call fire still rolling. I just dropped some onions mm -hmm. on. What else we got going on? Oh, I might. I'm gonna try and hit my Zumba classes this week. Oh, hey, you literally uh -huh. just said that. Yep. I'm very excited uh, about this. I ain't got a Zumba in bulk. Let's see. Woo! My cootie got on today. On on your mm -hmm. interview. I feel alive right now. That Death Wish coffee really does kick in quick. 
Well, it's got like 27 cups of coffee worth per sip. Well, they're not like two and a half hours of coffee per sleep. Did you say any of that or what? I need a little juice. Let's try her juice. You don't want mine? My juice is you. I call that drink go go juice. That's, it's good. I don't mind it, but it's the after the neutral sweet aftertaste. I don't like. You want this it juice? Some cherry sweet. You want to try this juice? Oh, excuse me. I have a little burpy too. Um, let's see. No, I don't. I was. I mean, it's sweet, but I gotta watch the the sugar and the soda. Anyway, uh, how rude was that? Sorry, I, excuse me. I burped. Um. Uh, oh, we were doing line Sal the Rock on from Uncle Pickles. So we were doing line dances at the party last night, and you know. Um. I, hold I, on. Let's I just preface the line this. Dances. Well, that's just prefaces. The 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 rooms were soundproof, so we were black. You hope. No, oh, they, no were. they went outside and you could barely hear it. But we like we were doing it. No, so they sorry. were they were in one of the new hotels. Yeah, they had a sky bar on the sixth floor. Yeah, yeah. A, a teenager, a teenager pooped in the pool. Oh yeah, a so teenager. We, yeah. yeah, a basketball player. Yeah. Um. Oh, so we were doing, you know. The cotton eye gel, you know, I was hitting that. Woo! And then the lady, the aunt of one of my friends goes, What song is this? And we were like, Do you not know the cotton eye gel? How do you? And we were like, It's a generational dance. And then I did the church club. Hey, you should teach dad that TikTok. What TikTok? Um, this one. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to do. I don't. It's a really it's a good one. one. No, it's no, not. Not the church spot. It's a um. She made her drinks to drink. drink. We drunk and we got drunk and then I think I'm cool. She gave us a wink. I wink. Dad, you can do that. Mom knows this one, so Mom you gotta knows. get two. You gotta start, you gotta bust up the knot tonight when or you have to sneeze. I can't do the sneeze. The what? How do you do it, Norm? I thought that was like when you did the when you were like. Um, Mr. Cast, Mr. Cast, Mr. Cast Iron. Yeah. Said Lee, we have sailed the root the root boy for right. tonight. That's right. Oh, Sal, I've been watching Sal for years. He's a good dude. I like him. Hmm. 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 Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm going to do that one. I haven't learned that one yet. Um, let me check the cauliflower again. It's been just a few minutes. Oh, it should be getting close. Uh, hey, do you see sh- I saw this thing, and it was a bad, it was a, like, a paint. Hey, hey, hey. I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, hey, hey. hey. No, but Pete, there's a um. Ooh. All right, so there's that. I mean, let me get the lid. The there was a TikTok, and it had those like jokes <laughs> on it. Mm-hmm. And Dad goes, "Oh, that was real bad. That was rough." Um, what was the one I heard? One. What was it about, Dad? It's that one kid that does the um. He comes in, tells his dad, he's like, "Hey, Dad, I got a joke," and then it's like a little Johnny joke or. Something that happened to school or whatever. Oh. He had a funny one. The one I had was uh, It wasn't that funny because I don't remember it. There is one I don't have to tell you that. I thought it was funny, but I can't say it on camera. Oh, it's one of those inappropriate ones. <laughs> hey, come here. Okay, so now we got... Can you can you see this? Paint me up. All right, camera girl. Um, Tony do. said, sorry I missed the beginning. What do y'all make this morning? So, Dad make is making this because mom saw it on TikTok. So Mama Bear saw us on TikTok. She sent it to me and said, I want to try it. It's cauliflower loaded nachos. Yeah, let that sink in. I mean, if cauliflower can be pizza, why can't it be nachos? I don't know. You're crossing around. That should not so be what I did is I got I took a head of cauliflower, I put it in my cast iron skillet. Um with Coat it with olive oil, put some uh, 
this uh, Ridley's taco seasoning, which is from a, a buddy of mine over in uh, Utah. No, Idaho. Idaho. I'm sorry. Idaho. Idaho. Sorry, Mike. I don't know. Um, but he sent me this. We've used it quite a bit. I have um, Idaho. So, tossed it and then threw it on the grill. Um, 425-ish. Over 400. We're going to roast it, really. Um, about 10 minutes. Rotated it so we get even cooking. And then, you know, I'm just, what I'm trying to do is get it to where it's pork tender. But I want it to have a little bit of bite. You know, I don't want it to be, you know, like steamed broccoli or cauliflower where you, you go in and it comes out. I want it to have a little grab. That's what she said. Yes. <laughs> Why she loves to love him. And so, and suddenly I don't want so I put about Dad with his second tummy. I put about a quarter quarter of a chopped onion in here. I browned up, you know, got some got some bacon. Got some bacon. We're gonna drop in here. Just reserve a little bit for garnish. You two are just nuts. We get offspring. Well, I know. So you guys are gonna be awesome when you get older. <laughs> I'm awesome now. What? All right. So now it's sleep deprivation and high. I got a can of sliced black olives. Don't be not even watching me. You got to get up out of chair, baby. I am watching. You so can't go can left. You to go make a smoke. can of black olives. Drop it in there. Logan, you can try this out. Yeah, your girls might like it. Oh. Ha! It's good, healthy stuff. I don't think he likes cauliflower. Well, he's about to. He, he doesn't come up so, out of his basement to eat. Now we're going to put some. I, I kind of went a little skimpy this morning, so I didn't know how this was going to be. So now I got. Just bacon, black olives. I got cheese. I'm just gonna throw some cheese on. So who's not those of those? Just mine. Well, they're supposed to be for all of us. Oh. So throw on a bag of cheese. This is triple cheddar. Um. You know you should you should take the torch and torch it. Well, I'm gonna throw it back on the grill. Oh. But I'm going to add a little bit more of this Ridley's just for the top. All right. Now we just got to roast it off until the cheese melts. All right, Pay. You get the dough. It is bright outside. Yes, it is a wonderful morning. All right. Yeah, I got that grill screaming. You ain't even got it on me right now. <laughs> I got that grill um, screaming. Uncle Pickle said, Mo Cheddar is uh, better. Ripple Cheddar, buddy. We got to close the thing. Okay, BRB. Oh, let's see. So we give that about, I don't know, five, ten minutes enough for the cheese to melt and whatnot. Oh, let's see. Comments for the week. Uh, well, do we have any awesome comments this week? I'm awesome. Well, yeah, you are. Um, I mean, I guess you are, too. I'm trying to think. What, what comments do we, we You had just answered some this morning. Not this morning. Oh, yesterday? With uh, with Katie's Katie's candles. Yes, we got um, told a great review. I'm glad it smelled like that. Did it really smell like that? Um, people, you know, just complimenting us, you know. Mama's getting hungry. It was Mama, It was Peyton and Dad. Um, let's see. What other comments do we have this week? Um. Um, Patty Joe had said something. Oh, let me see. Probably complimenting me, you know. Cub. 
you know, I do get a lot of compliments about you guys and your cooking. Oh, yeah. Um, um, so, interesting factoid. It's not really a factoid, but it's a fun thing to do. Um, every time I go to youth, I always get complimented on what we cook. And then I always get volunteered to go to the next, like, camping thing, even though I don't want to go camping. But they're always like, you're going to come with us, and you're going to cook with all the little gadgets you have. All those gadgets we see on y'all, y'all YouTube, and I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I guess. There you go, Cub. You want to read a few of these? Uh, yeah, do it. Uh, oh, you don't want to? Okay. No, because they might not understand it. <clears throat> All right, so this was on the uh, Dutch oven cheer wine barbecue ribs. Uh, I helped name that. Yes, she did. At uh, like twelve in the morning. So Miss Sonia Elaine loved the Dutch oven setup. Yeah. And she loves your curiosity about the peppers. Because you asked, why are they all, oh. if, they're, if they're all bell peppers, why are they all different colors? Well, yeah, because I didn't want to sound stupid and, and see if they like. And Dwayne said he believes that the peppers start out the same color. Like, and then as they mature, they turn into like different Like tomatoes. Because they go from yeah. like yellow to green. To... And then. Uh, my buddy Dash, uh, he says he loves my daughter's face. It's priceless. Hay was not a fan of the texture or the abundant sweetness that was in there from the from the cheer wine. Um, there's a funny video that Peyton had me record for her about those ribs. And I'm going to find it. I'm sure it. Uh, my buddy Jeff said, uh, you know. He, he liked the uh, windbreak that I have with the barrel. Um, he really likes the Dr. Pepper, which the Dr. Pepper would have been great. I was just trying to be a little bit different from the videos that I'd watched. Um, you know, throw a little spin on it. Uh, that way I wasn't just copying. I will try the Dr. Pepper, though, because that does sound Hold amazing. on, Dad. I'm going to play this, this video. Um, <laughs> what the heck? I was going through, and I, like, licked him on back. Wait. Why is this ice And uh, my buddy Craig with the Behind the Garage, he said, uh, the ribs sound slamming. Bet they'd be great with chunks of pork butt. I'm telling you what, I'm thinking we're going to have to make a cheer wine. I got some rib tips in the freezer. We're going to do a uh, Dutch oven cheer wine uh, rib tips. What do you think of that? And actually make it uh, cheer wine barbecue sauce instead of the uh, hodgepodge of one I made. Just saying. Yep. Better say some for yourself. And Uncle Pickles, um, soda is always a good one to use for braising and injecting. The taters and peppers were awesome. Looked awesome. The taste test was a crack up. I know, yeah, you weren't a fan of the texture or the sweetness, I know. Get on in there, buddy. Uh, oh, Pete, will I get off the gym the bone. today? Maybe. Lift weights. Uh, Max out. Get the games! <laughs> Ooh, I missed one from, from Patty Joe. <clears throat> this one, he, he just responded this morning. I uh, love the look of the Dutch oven ribs. They look delicious. The W sauce is uh, difficult to pronounce. He agreed. Okay, flat face. <laughs> Worcestershire is like the worst. Worcestershire. The W sauce. When I try to say it, pronounce it out, I always mess it up. It's because it's Worcestershire. 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 So, let's see. The Cup's Corner. I love you. You love me. Where are we, happy family? Um, Uncle Pickle said, oh. heck yeah, now I'm internet famous. Heck You've yeah. been internet <laughs> famous before. Oh, like. so these comments didn't show up on that Friday one. So, uh, on the uh, Ember and Bean, yeah. Randall mm -hmm. and Katie, uh, cool review, interesting wicks. I don't know. Sounds like sophisticated smell. He's oh he's reading comments yeah, because they are, I didn't print them out because I'm lazy. Apparently that he has not run out of things um, to talk about. Oh, 
Well, I want to read some comments. I'm going to find some hate comments. I'm just kidding, man. Yeah. Cousin Mandy said, uh, love, love that Katie makes these, unfortunately. Her daughter is allergic to coconut, so... Yeah. But isn't she in college? Mm. Yes. Hmm. Awesome. Look Came at this cow. From Trump and Master. Oh, oh. We got a picture of a Trump cow. Trump and Master 77. Friend ours. He says, uh, awesome candle. I'm going to order one. So that's cool. Tell her that uh, you saw here I'm smoking bears. Let's uh, see. Are you I reading love... comments? Who are you reading? Comments. For what video? A video. Hey, you're watching the video. Not no more. What do you want? It's okay. Um, <coughs> oh, the Skittles one. You want to read the Skittles Eric one? Eric said, sure. got to go. See you later. All Bye, right. Eric. So I don't know why I did that in British. So I, I wanted to like print some of these off. That way we could kind of do like a little chat and, and whatever, but I kind of got bummed. Um, okay, here's a question. So Robert yeah. says, right. nicely done, Cubs. Question. For me. Oh. Gummy bears or gummy worms? Ooh. Well, it depends. No, it does because not. If you pick ghost no, no, it does. It, it, does. it, it depends. It does. Because if you get gummy bears, mom bear likes them soaked in vodka. <laughs> Don't call her out like that. Just, yeah. No, no, no. What's it's that what you call people out? First you call Logan, then we his date, down. then your brother. No, no. When we went down to Florida um, on our vacation, you know, it was all adults. So she got mm -hmm. gummy bears, put them in a mason jar, and put so much vodka in it, and let them soak for a few days. And then all the gummy bears absorb the vodka. Oh, yeah. So there was none left. So and you put them in little. Pickles is gross. He said gummy rats. Dude. I don't know if that's an actual thing or if he's just screwing with us. Because I know in some places they take an actual dead carcass of a rat and fill it with gummy. That would be kind of cool. That'd be weird. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like I will, oh, I will tell my Patty. Patty. So That's the Patty. seven up and Skittles. Yeah. Patty. Patty, Patty. go click it. <laughs> Not sure if I've ever tried the Skittles before. This is an excellent review. Thank you, Patty Joe. But they were actually like they taste like regular Skittles, but more flavor. So, so Patty Joe, do they have Skittles in Australia? Because some know. places don't. Because you know? they call Smarties M and M's, or no, yes. M and M's are their Smarties, oh. and our Smarties are Rockets. Yeah, I think. And that's in that's in London. Yeah, it's like in the. So when we were at the hotel, the parents left us, so it was just me, Peyton, and Zoe. Oh my gosh, this one. If you interrupt me. And there was this lady who came in to fix the sheet on the bed. And she was having a whole conversation with us. Bless you. Excuse me. She was having a whole conversation with us about Jesus and the whole and the Holy Spirit and everything. Oh, she, was, she was such a nice lady though. She came in and I was like, Hey, how you doing? Like started talking to her and she was like, Good, how are you guys? And I was like, Good. We figured what out that she for? and so we started talking about like, Yeah, hey, we're here for a birthday party and so then we started talking about the Holy Ghost and how it feels whenever he's in you and all so she told us her life story, we told her our life story. Not like our life story, like, like our full snippets. life story. And she told us snippets and then she was, um, we said something, and like, um, no one was like, Yeah, we're, sw we're all swimmers. And she was like, That is awesome. Like, I, that is amazing. Like, good for you. Like, okay. Congratulations. We get to the hotel room, and under the, the like, room number, there's a little plaque that says hearing impaired. It's only the room we stayed in. So April was like, Oh. April said, Oh, um, look, no one may accommodate it just for you. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where there was a doorbell under the hearing impaired sign, and, was, and you press the doorbell, and, and it made a, one loud noise, and then a flashing light, so we so could you know. Could hear it, you could see somebody at the door, but the lady's name is Felicia. Felicia, shout out Miss Felicia. She was like, um, "All right, girls, well, I'll talk to you guys later." And I was like, "Bye, Miss Felicia. Hey, I there, love you." I said, "I love you, Miss Felicia." Channel. I'm telling you, the last few weeks I've met two amazing people. Who, me and me? Who just, no. Well, there went the Shirley Temple. Hey, when you get a towel, there's a towel right here. Anyways, let me have some So I want to throw this out there. Um, 
I, I know you guys are, are cast iron people, or you know a lot about cast iron. I watched a video I where no. a guy <laughs> restored his tea kettle, which is awesome. Um, uh, it was interesting because he soaked it in a, um, was it map rust or something like that. But anyway, he cleaned it out and everything. He used a uh, wire wheel to get the inside, which everybody's got their own. It's his, it's his piece, whatever. But the the thing that got me, that made me say, "Wait a minute, dude," was he actually filled it up, boiled water in it, and made hot chocolate with it. When he was all done, it was all clean and seasoned and whatever. So I was like, that's not right. So I want to throw that out there as these tea kettles, yes, they're awesome, they're tea kettles, but they are meant for humidifying. You put water in it, you put it on the on the on your wood burner stove, and it puts moisture in the air. That's the purpose of these. Not to drink out of. Yeah, you know, I haven't restored this one because we don't have any need for it, like to humidify. If I did, then I would restore it and, and you would put water in it and use it to humidify. I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't drink water out of a cast iron tea kettle that was straight black iron. That's just me. Um, now, there's probably people out there that's going to tell me I'm, I'm crazy and that's fine. But that's the purpose of these things was for humidifying not to drink out of um so i just want to throw that out there you know for for my for my people <clears throat> um newcomers <clears throat> people are getting into cast iron whatever tea kettles are cool they're awesome but it's important to know their purpose and yeah so throw that out there you know, I reckon you could probably do like a vegetable stew or something in it, but I don't know. But I want to throw that out there about that. Hi, Dad. High low of the week. Go. The high of the week? Yeah. You know, actually, it's... I'm sticky. My leg is We're sticky. talking about highs and lows of the week. Oh. Well, my high is that um today... Don't look at me like that. Just like you completely cut me off. He wasn't oh. about to say something. Anyway. He probably didn't <laughs> then, so let me just get swiftly in my mess. Anyway, Clumsy's cleaning up her mess. <laughs> it's not me this time. Um, me. So the high of the week, um, well, it would have been dinner last night with the wife. Um, we went up to a pizza place, uh, and it's like there's only a few restaurants we go to here in town. It's just because that's what we like. Um, so we went up to Empire Pizza. Um, we actually got fried pickles. They come out as uh, pickle spears in there. So I was like, okay, cool. And we got, um, oh, we got chicken wings, boneless wings, because mom likes boneless mm -hmm. wings. We got the sweet chili and the teriyaki. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we ate all of them. We were like a little pigs. That's the only thing we ate yesterday. Uh -oh. Except for some hot dogs. We had a couple hot dogs for lunch. But... And then we got a small pizza, a little small spring pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. And then, you know, we got to hang out and, uh, you know, quality time with mom. And, um, let's see. And then uh, this yeah. morning, this so is I, um, because of us, the girls came home early from their birthday party and spent some time with me, which is cool. So I think you guys enjoy these as much as I do. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't if know. I get coffee in my suit. <laughs> Yeah, she's a pain to wake up. Um, okay. The, um, okay. The whole reason we left early was for this, and so she was going to come down and do it. Oh. Um, low for the week. Um, Me. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a low for the week. It's been a week, I, I will say that. Um, might be that I, I missed a, a text message from a friend. Uh, he was on vacation this week and uh, asked me to swing by and cut his grass while he was on vacation. And 
I didn't get the message until late yesterday or yesterday. And I was like, oh, hey, I just saw this. And he was like, oh, that's all right. So um, go ahead. Tell me about yours. I'm going to check these. Let's see. Got high money. Well, I don't know because I, I enjoyed Slim. That was very good. Um, I enjoyed Slim's birthday. We had a lot of fun that week or that day. Then the birthday party was a bunch of fun. Um, so I don't really know. Maybe the um, maybe I'll say this. And then my love of the week. I missed my push ups yesterday. I have a buddy of mine who's been trying to get me to push ups every day. Like 10 push ups for good luck. And I just missed yesterday. I was like, I really don't do it. So I'll have to really go do something and haven't really been hitting the weights lately. So I might do that today. So, you know, but if you have any, you know, whatever. Boy, that's some hot stuff right there. And I just spilled a whole place. Yeah, I just spilled her. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you spilled it. Oh, yeah. It dropped. The glass didn't break, though, which is good. But it's all down my leg. Come on, then. So, yeah. The water's fine. Yeah, that the water's was my, fine. That was my high. That was my low. I need to get back out and run some more, y'all. <laughs> all right, guys. So, <laughs> got it done. Uh, my buddy Rusty just popped in. Would you like a cherry? <laughs> he brought me this really cool magnet, little gift. Pretty sweet little deal. So we're going to go ahead and put that up here on the uh, fridge. That's good, right? Uncle Pickle said, hi there, Rusty. Hello. Let's move this right there. Right there we go. Good spot for it. All right. So we're doing cauliflower nacho. It was a TikTok video that the wife saw and she wanted to make it. I said, since cauliflower can be pizza, why can't it be nacho? Yeah, I've made a lot of stuff with cauliflower, never nacho. So what it, what I basically did is you roast it with a taco seasoning. And then uh, I put some onion in it. And just roast it off, add some bacon, some black olives. Look scrub delicious. Ooh. Yep. Um I've got some uh I don't have any more cheese. That's all right. So we'll get this uh sour cream mixed up. Oops. All right. Sour cream mixed up. So, Pay was going through the highlights of the week. What do you got for your week? We got to try this. Highlight? Yeah. Well, yeah well, high low week. I got my boat out in the shop yesterday. Good. Okay. And all three carburetors had to be cleaned. They were gummed up from bad gas sitting too long. And I, I put the boat in the water last weekend, started it, and it would idle. As soon as I put it in reverse and back away from the dock, it would die. And so, me and Tommy. Um, Tamara and their friend Donnie, we were just gonna go go fishing. And as long as, as long, I mean, it would idle, but that was it. As soon as I did anything else, it would die. So, had to put it in and get it worked on. The highlight is I got my boat back. It's ready for me and you to go fishing. Yes. As soon as, the, I can. <laughs> as soon as we can get time to get together. Yeah. It's been. It's and been on, time. Another thing I'm looking forward to is actually tonight. Uh, me and the wife, we got our 26 year anniversary on Tuesday, Ooh. but she has to work Tuesday and I've got to work and she don't get home till after 10 o'clock at night. So I'm taking her out tonight to the new restaurant that just opened up downtown. Got her made reservations on the table, open table app or whatever. So she doesn't which, even know. Which this one? Yet. I can't remember the name of it. Town, old town something. Oh, where the white horse was. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, uh, wife and I went there last week. Okay, well, we're going, I'm yeah. taking her there tonight. Oh, that's and, sweet. And uh, again, 26 years. That's well, a long time. She, she, keeps talking, thank you. she keeps talking about it because the chef owner 
beat Bobby Flay a couple weeks ago on his show. Yep. Yep. And so that's why she keeps talking about it. So yep, we went. Um, what did I get? I got a burger. And it was really good. It was one of those though. Once you start eating it, you don't set it down because it's gonna fall apart. So it's one of those good burgers that you just gotta hold and eat. Dad, did you eat um, forks? Well. No. Who needs a fork? You got things. Yeah. So and I guess the low for the week would be I had to get my boot fixed. <laughs> yeah. But I'm blessed. Have a job. Great family. I got no complaints. That's why you make money, so you can spend it. Yep. That is true. Uh, oh, I watched the Olympics last night, Dad. Yep, so we were watching the Olympics. Uh, Mom and I was. Let's do a little more bacon. Yeah, you can never have too much bacon. Yeah. Did you get, um, give me some dried, um, dried a root parsley or something, something green. Not Pickles, me. he said, congratulations, Rusty. My condolences to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Mm. Oh, mm. mm. well, when's our next competition? I haven't even looked at the schedule. I had kind of looked at it. And was it the first week in... October. Yeah, I thought it was October. It was one, the Gaston one we were talking about doing. Um, of course, everything's up in the air. We'll see what happens. Right. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that'll be fine. I just need something green. Yeah, I know. It's kind of green. Yeah. Hip hop step. You want to do it with me, Nolan? No. Let's we'll drop it just a little bit on we there. We might have plans today. All I I had the whole family. Group. Pickleball. That's exciting. What is pickleball? I don't know. It's some game they just created for old people at retirement homes. Oh. <laughs> I'm going right. to do custom cuts. It's at 2 o'clock. No, All right, today. Cub, you want to take some pink thumbnails? We're going to today. You, might you be. me, mom, and dad. We're going to go today. Yep, bear one, so. We're going to the cash store, cash iron store, and then Ikea. Ooh, I don't know about that. Get the meatballs. Yes, the meatballs are great. All right, there's a thumbnail. So many jokes I could say right now. All right. Yo. Yeah, no. Mama, know. you're just in time. She's not going to be on camera. Good yes. morning, Tanya. Good morning. Helen. There you guys go. Ladies. Go. go. I don't want to try it. Mom, okay. Can you try it? I put the camera on that. Well, I, I had to try it out of here, so. I'll just wait. I just thought it was okay. No, We're getting ready to wrap it up. Ready? It's going to be hot. Hmm. No? That's pretty damn good. I think I'd call that dinner. Can I see the plate? It's a different different twist. Mom pork. Yep. Different twist on cauliflower. Yeah, the texture, you can definitely tell that you roasted it over the fire and over yeah. the charcoal. It's got a really good texture. It's smooth. Almost creamy, almost like a, a mashed potato type texture. Um, yeah, Mike really Mont Montoya said good morning, everyone. Brother Mike. What's, what's on, brother? Uncle Pickle said it looks really good, Bear. What do you think, Mama? It's as good as what it looked on. TikTok. Of course, that lady had a better production studio than what we got. Hey, we have a good production We're just studio. Vibing. Yeah. We're vibing. We're awesome. No, I have of it. All right. So that's what we got this week. So we're going to get out of here, get cleaned up, and uh, get into our day. Remember this. Thanks, Two everybody, for. Cooking. Yes, fair. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, just remember you see something, try it. There's no wrong or right way to do things. Just do it. Enjoy it. Yep. Remember, there's two rules in cooking. Did you have fun? Did it taste good? Rock on. Y'all are awesome.